So next you see cluster or remote access. We're not going to use that as well for now. Um, we'll save that for other videos when you're hosting other people's website or you're actually um, setting up a web hosting company or having your own clients. Sy system reboot actually just to reboot the server um, when a crash happened or other um, occurrences where you actually need to reboot your server. We're gonna cover that part um, on a later videos as well. Server status um, to check your server status so we're gonna skip this to account information now we're gonna use this um, after we set up the first hosting account so um, we're gonna skip this too for now and we're gonna go back in this video back to here later on account functions you see all the available functions um, to operate on a particular account so all these um, we're gonna cover at the later videos and for now we're gonna skip this so I'm going to show you to actually how you can um, host your website right away the same thing with uh, multiple account functions um, we're gonna skip that front page we're gonna skip that transfers we're gonna skip that themes we're gonna skip that packages here we go now to start hosting your uh, initial website in web host manager or cPanel you have to create a package let's start by adding one now um, let's try internal package let's leave everything as unlimited so we don't have to break into limits for our own sites and we don't need a dedicated IP depending on um, how you create your website if you're going to use the front page you can tick this otherwise just leave it unchecked and um, use a shell access which you you can use at a later um, date on how I'm going to show you on how you can manage your site using shell access CGI access just leave it checked and everything else leave it as it is now cPanel theme x3 feature list default and local English and click add so that's the first step you need to create um, a package for you to sign up for yourself so this is like a hosting plan um, you just name a, a new hosting plan you just created a new hosting plan name internal package now we're going to sign up for this hosting plan ourselves now to do that we're going to go to um, create an account so before we do that let's go uh, real quick to the rest of the functions we have DNS functions which we're not going to use now um, SQL services, IP functions, disk drives, software, email, system health, cPanel now let's see if we can use um, if we need to use any of the rest of the functions now before we actually create our first hosting account well I don't think we we need to do that so I think we are ready to uh, start creating our new um, hosting account so go back all the way up not all, not all the way up but uh, until you see account functions on the second line here create a new account click on that see now here we are going to host our first website we are going to use joyrideclick.com as our um, domain example username just use joyride the password mm, let's use a random password let's generate it by clicking on that J 
generate password and let's use it use this one click here 